Hi guys, this is Thunder E from Board at Work and welcome to my review of the Logitech K480 Bluetooth keyboard. What is pretty unique about this keyboard is its functionality and its ease of use. Why I say that is because this is what they call a multi-device keyboard, the K480. As you can see here, here's that's a Mac, that's a iPad and that's uh, looks like a you know if you see one M8 there so uh, you can use this with multiple devices at once and at the same time which is pretty cool so retail for $49.99 and uh, that's the packaging very light and simple and here is the keyboard here so as I mentioned you can use it with three devices at once which is pretty cool you've got this dial here now I decided to leave this um, kind of instructional information here so you guys can just see and I can walk you through the whole process here at the beginning. Now, it's very easy. Like I said, you have three devices you can set up. You get one, two, three. And the idea is that as you're typing, say, on your PC with this, you can switch to your smartphone to number two, and then you can switch to number three um, to your tablet, and you can switch back to one, and you can switch on and off and use the different things in those devices. Uh, to pair it is very simple. Uh, of course, you take the battery thingy out, you set number one, um, and in this case, I set my number one as PC, which you see in a few, and then you hit the PC button there, and that should basically flash and uh, sync and then you go to Bluetooth and you just pair via Bluetooth. It's a very simple process. You go to number two, you do the same thing. If it's an Android device or Chrome OS, you still hit PC. And then if it's an iOS device, you go to iOS, which would be here. Now, this is a sticker, so it will only say PC or I, and that's the difference there with it. And you can connect to your devices. Now, uh, just to note, when you're connecting to um, either a PC or, or iOS device, it will tell you to type in a code word and on the keyboard and you are good to go. Now, um, the keyboard itself uh, feels a little heavy. This is not a light keyboard. It does have a stand here and that stand can be used to put in anything. Um, you can actually stand things side by side. You can put your smartphone and you also you can put your tablet on there um, all together on, on the stand. Now, the keys themselves are chiclet light -like keys. They feel like typewriter keys. They feel a little raised and you can hear them. They do sound when you type on the keys. Uh, there is no indicator button for your cap or lock screen that's one thing to note and of course the keys vary from device to device in functionality the media keys are the same for either android ios or or windows but other keys do vary and differ so there's things like uh, f2 also differs and it's in the instruction manual so you can actually go through to see what it, it details for each device i know for windows users the windows button is actually the start key here just to let you know now the battery life is supposed to last for two years based on two million strokes uh, for heavy usage, so that's a long time. So there's no way I can verify it, but I can tell you the battery life lasts pretty long, and it uses two AA, uh, sorry, I didn't say AA battery, two AAA batteries here at the back of the device, and that's it. That's pretty much what you get with this device altogether. Um, there we go. Simple, pre, uh, pretty easy um, setup easy to use. Now let's just see how it functions with all three devices, a Windows, iOS, and an Android device all together. So using the Logitech K480, what I like about it the most is first of all, you can mount almost two devices on the keyboard. And second thing is you can actually just switch between devices. Just to show you the maximum case scenario here, I have a Surface Pro 3 at number one, uh, Bluetooth 1, Bluetooth 2 is one plus one, and Bluetooth 3 is the iPad. And it's all a matter of switching in between. Now I left the the control uh, setup process here. So you can actually see that, but again, it's an easy process. So it's on number one. I'm actually gonna press play and play that video. So my hands are here, hit play, video is playing. I switch to two. It takes about a second and then you can start typing. So if I'm just gonna zoom in a little closer there so you guys take a better look, this is, you can see that there. And then I'm going to switch to three, the iPad, and I'm going to start playing music off there. And I'm going to start typing on the iPad. I'm just going to turn that down so I don't get flagged for it. But I can then continue and start typing on the iPad so you guys can see. And then I can switch back here again to one and pause the video. 
So that's the seamless process you get with the K480. It's a great keyboard. I like the fact that you can move in between devices. So, you know, this may not be the ideal scenario for everyone, but it just shows you can actually switch between your smartphone, your iPad and a Windows device, and you can go up to three devices simultaneously. What I like about it is that once you use the dial here to switch, it's a very, it's almost a very seamless transition. The one thing you do have to take note that it takes maybe about a half a second to actually fully switch. So when I go from here, we're playing the video, which is still playing in the left hand corner, and I switch here, you see it's gonna blink, and then once it stops, stop blinking, it's gone. So there it is, it's, I can now type on the keyboard, and then I, when I switch back, it takes just a few seconds, then I can pause. So that's the process with the K, uh, K4, um, K480. I really like the keyboard uh, for what it brings to the table. Yeah, it's, it's not perfect. It's a little bulky, but it does allow you to do a lot of things together. If you're a kind of person who um, does uh, has multiple devices maybe on your de maybe you have a desktop or maybe you have at least a desktop and you also have like a, a um you know a smartphone or ipad and you're doing different things on two different uh, devices this is the kind of keyboard that helps again it's only 49.99 and i think it goes a long way what i'd love to see is i would love to see a more premium version of this that also supports more devices uh from logitech i think that would be great um altogether but um i like what they've brought to the table here this is very simplistic uh nice layout the keyboards uh, work well um, a little too high for me but still works and something I definitely recommend if you're one who has a lot of devices you want to switch between and you want to use a physical keyboard being an iPad being an Android device or being a Windows uh, Windows uh, PC or tablet so if you have any questions or any comments let us know otherwise don't forget to like this video share this video and favorite this video so we can make more videos for you and guys if you really want to contact me directly I think the fastest way to do it is through uh, Twitter. So just follow me on Twitter. It's Board at Work. That is the easiest way to get in touch with me as fast as possible. But again, do like this video, share this video, favorite this video, and also subscribe to the channel, top right hand corner of your screen, or down in the description below. Uh, this is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy your entertainment.